In this piano tutorial, we'll be learning how to play the song Falling in Love with Jesus by Jonathan Butler in the key of A major. And this song was requested through the comment section. So feel free to leave any song request down below in the comment section. So first, let's recap the original chords of the song. That way you have a, a base to know what changes and alterations we're doing to the progressions and chords of this song okay so this song is pretty simple it only plays like one or two different progressions and this whole song basically repeats so we start off on the one chord falling in love with G. we go to the five and this is a minor five because we're using it as a passing chord with G we go back to the one then we play a four chord falling in love a three chord or a one over three with G a two chord Zus. then a five passing chord um, on F and then to get to the six chord falling in love we go back down to the five with Jesus. One was the best four thing. Three I've ever, two ever, five done. And then we're back to the one. So that's basically the progression to this song. But let's try to explore different approaches to this progression and different voicings that we could use for these chords, okay? So first off, for the one chord, I like playing it like this. It's just an add to voicing. Okay, so falling in love. We go to the five chord. It's the same five chord, only inverted into this figure right here. And I'm just thinking G major and second inversion over E minor. And that gives me that E minor seven, okay? So with G. Jesus. Now this one chord, it's slightly different, right? We're not playing the the A7, A7 that we were playing before. Instead, we're playing this A13 um, flat 9. And this chord right here, it's very easy to memorize, right? I'm, I'm just thinking about two different things at the same time. I'm playing A with the dominant 7th, and then I'm playing a F sharp major on my right hand okay but even easier what i did was i know that i'm doing this progression the five one four progression in this part of the song so what i'm thinking is since i have this voicing right here with the g and e minor i just take this g and i bring it down a half step and then i go to the one chord um on my left hand and sometimes we ask ourselves how is this useful this way of thinking though the reason why i think about it this way is because what if i if i was playing this song in another key let's say we were playing it in c major falling in love and we go to the five with g all i have to do is bring down my right hand every, um a half step down to an a and then i play the one on my left hand and we get the same voicing we go to the four okay so let's go back to the original key a major we were here five one then we land on the four chord just a simple d major seven chord falling in love now this three chord um it's a voicing that i use a lot is basically just taking the three and the one on my left hand and then my right hand plays this um chordal chord i guess you can call it basically separated by fourths i'm playing the second the fifth and the first right so falling in love then we go down to the two with jesus now in this case right here i'm switching up the progression slightly because instead of going from the two to the five and then passing chord to the six what i'm going to do is i'm going from the two falling in love with jesus 
right? I'm using different chords. I'm basically going down um, to approach the seven, three, six progression, okay? So I get to the two, falling in love. I get to the two, I bring it down to the one, and this one I'm voicing it as a major six chord. So falling in love with Jesus. Play a seven chord, which is just um, a B flat minor over A flat and the dominant seventh. So with Jesus. And this three chord right here, um, this voicing is an altered voicing and a very easy way of thinking about it. Again, these are called upper structured chord or upper structured triads. Um, I'm playing the three with the third and the dominant seventh. And my right hand is just playing a G major right and i like adding this c sharp right here to to double up on the on the bass note and a easier way of memorizing this is i'm playing this chord right it's the three but i'm thinking about the tritone of the three which is g and i just form a major chord in my right hand and that's how i get this this different sounding three chord okay so once again Falling in love with Jesus. And then we get to the sixth chord. And the sixth chord is just an A major add two over F sharp with the ninth up here. Okay. Falling in love. Now we're going to use the two chord as a passing chord. And this two chord is voiced in this way. A B nine and this b9 is just again a combination of two things b the third and the dominant seventh and then i take the five of this two which is f sharp and i make i play it as a minor chord right f sharp minor over b7 okay and that gives me b9 so we were on the six falling in love with G. Now we go to this five, which is slightly different. It's an E minor 11. It's a little bit spread out. And all I'm playing is this G major. It's almost like if I was playing a G major nine with my right hand, but my fingers are a little bit uncomfortable here. So I play it in this voicing right here. I just play these two with my thumb. And I play a D major with my with the rest of the fingers, okay? And my left hand is playing an E minor or an E with the fifth and ninth. And then instead of going to the one, I'm going to use the tritone of the one, which is three whole steps away or E flat. And the right hand, I want you guys to pay attention right here. All I do is take these two notes and bring it down one half step. And my left hand is going down to the E flat. And that gives me E flat 9 sharp 11. And then we're back to the four. Okay, so all together right here. Falling in love with G. It gives it a nice jazzy type of voicing was the best now here i'm playing a four major 9 13 was the best thing i've three chord ever two chord ever done okay and this five was just a e13 sus okay and that's basically the whole song right there that repeats again in the in the next verse okay so what i'm going to do now is play the whole song slightly improvised um that way you have a better idea of how it sounds all together without any interruptions and hopefully you're able to capture some new things that i may throw in there okay